In about 45 minutes, the National Guard's deployment in Washington, D.C. comes to an end. Guard troops have spent the last four months in D.C. following the January 6th insurrection at the Capitol. Their deployment officially ends at midnight tonight. More than 2,100 troops will return to their home bases during the week. And while the security around the U.S. Capitol returns to normal, debate continues in Washington over what comes next. Last week, the House of Representatives advanced a bill to launch an independent commission to investigate the Capitol attack, but it faces resistance from Republicans in the Senate. Grant Herms shows us where members of Michigan's congressional delegation stand in this debate. Most of Michigan's members of Congress voted along party lines. Some of those same members have been at the front of the fight to dig deeper through a commission into the attack on the U.S. Capitol back in January. Michigan's members of Congress split this week on whether to fully investigate the January attack. All of Michigan's Democrats voting for it, five Republicans voting against it, including Representatives Lisa McLean, Jack Bergman, and Tim Wahlberg, who all voted not to certify the 2020 election results and not to impeach former President Trump. Two Republicans, Fred Upton and Peter Meyer, joined the Democrats. Meyer talking on CNN's State of the Union this morning. Honestly, I was hoping that this January 6th commission could be a chance for us to set what we viewed as partisan politics aside. Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin, who heads the House Committee on Counterterrorism, has been pushing for a deeper look into what happened in January, modeled after and in some cases copied from the 9-11 Commission. I think that's, you know, sort of the gold standard um, of what a bipartisan commission looks like. So I'm, I'm sad that it became a political football because we need to understand what happened and make sure it never happens again. As the fallout of an attack on the U.S. Capitol continues four months later, she says she still has hope the commission will happen despite expected Republican opposition in the Senate. I still have hope that the Senate um, will read the document um, and if they voted, some of them have been around since the 9-11 Commission. So if you voted for the 9-11 Commission, it's it's hard uh, to vote now against this commission since it's a cut and paste situation. Former President Trump promised consequences for Republicans who crossed the aisle on this vote. So far, according to the federal records, Upton and Meyer both have four challengers in the primary in 2022. In Detroit, Grant Herms, Local 4.